guys, it's Jenna, and now that summer is over, um, I don't know, I just felt like it would be a good idea to do a general summer favorites video. I don't know why I didn't do monthly favorites, I just never clicked with me, but I figured this is a good time since, um, school's starting and everyone's going back. A little bit of, like, nice little things that I enjoyed over the summer would probably bring a little sunshine in your day, especially if you live in Florida and we got Hurricane Erica just outside. Fun. And so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off this uh, favorites video with clothes. And my favorite article of clothing uh, from over the summer, and this is just honestly my favorite thing I got over the summer, is the official Fallis Villains tee! Oh, they finally have merch! I'm so happy! They went on tour with Barry December, and it was so great. It was great seeing them, and the, the, this shirt is great. I love it. The quality's pretty good, and all, the front has the, uh, their logo, which, if you look closely, has an F, an A, and a V. And then on the back, it has their lyrics that say, I fell just short of heaven, and down I went. It's got their name on it. It's so great. I love it. This is my favorite thing. And they also have buttons now. So if you ever look at a local show and it says Follows Villains is playing, you should go buy their merch, support local bands. It's important. Okay, the next thing in my favorites video is something you've already seen if you watch my Warped Tour haul is the Warp Tour 2011 tee. Now, the reason why this is my favorite is because this is my first Warp Tour, and I didn't think to get a t-shirt that year, but it's great. And if you want to learn more about this stuff I got a Warp Tour, you can watch my haul video. And I just love it. It's great. It It's just a nice little reminder of my first Warp Tour, and it just makes me really happy. All right, the next thing is this really wicked... Uh, shirt I got at Walmart, <laughs> and it's this rainbow skull pattern v-neck. Now, Walmart seems to really like this design because I have this in a tank top and yoga pants from like a year or so ago, and I love them. They're honestly the favorite things I've ever gotten from Walmart. It's another thing from Walmart. It is this really nice this tropical skull tank top muscle tee kind of thing, and I love this shirt so much. I had to buy it twice because I wore it to Warp Tour and it got destroyed. I can't get the stains out no matter what I do. So I literally went to Walmart and got another one. Okay, the next thing in my haul video are these shoes. These shoes are so cool. Um, they are uh, Call It Spring brand and they're really nice little high top sneakers. Um, I don't, I've never actually owned high top sneakers before so it's nice. And they have a zipper on the back, but it's completely useless. It doesn't do anything. And unfortunately, I can't lace up the laces all the way because it hurts my ankles. But they're really nice and super comfy. And I got these at JCPenney, so you should totally, like, if you see them, get a pair. They're really nice. Okay, so moving on to, like, sort of accessories, which is still under clothes. Um, I got this awesome bat earring pack by Lovesick. And... I, you could still get these on a Hot Topic website, I think, if you look, or maybe if you just scrounge around in your Hot Topic jewelry section. But I really like them because it's so I love bats, and it's really hard when it's not Halloween to find decent bat clothing or accessories, and I'm just really happy with these. They're super cute, and they don't mess with my ears. So that's just really great. Next thing I have to show you guys is this mood ring. How super 90s is that? Um, but I love this mood ring because it's got stars and moons on it. And obviously it changes color and all that based on mood. But the best part about it is it glows in the dark. And I love that so much. It's really great. And it's uh, actually pretty strong because considering it's just like a dinky ring I won at a bowling alley. So that's awesome. The next category of my favorites is makeup and skincare. And my favorite thing is the Chapstick Tropical Paradise. Um, it's from their collection. It's from that collection. And it's the Aloha Coconut. And I absolutely love it. It's so nice. And it makes my lips feel really nice. 
Mm, and it tastes like a pina colada pretty much. And I don't even think it has pineapple in it, but it's really nice. Okay, so the next thing is these Formula 10.0.6 masks. And I have the Keep Your Cool and Deep Deep Down Detox. And they're really nice. Like, I use this almost every day. And you can't really tell because I'm wearing makeup because I look super tired. But this really cleared up my face. And I've got, like, little red face demons everywhere. So that's fun. But, and then you, you can use this only, like, uh, one or three times a week. But I probably recommend only using this once a week because it felt really strong on my face. Like, I could actually feel it working. So maybe you, if you have some sensitive skin, probably don't use this a lot or maybe at all, or at least maybe we'll wear it for five minutes instead of the recommended 10 to 15. All right, so the next category I have for you is food. Now, I don't really have a lot of food, but I have the greatest drink ever invented. It is Mountain Dew's Baja Blast, and they only sell it at Walmart over the summer, and it makes you really sad. And then when it's not the summer, you can get it at Taco Bell. And I love Taco Bell as much as the next white person, but can't go to Taco Bell every day, but let's just... Oh, I love this. I bought like, like 10 of these over the summer. I don't have a problem. Oh god, that's good. That's good. And the next category after you guys is like shows and movies. And I haven't really seen a lot of movies, but I got some really great shows to recommend for you. And the first one is an anime called Shirobako. And it's this really great story about this uh, group of friends. They... Um, they become adults, they go in the real world, they were in an animation club in high school, so they want to make an anime together, that's the goal. But the main girl is a production assistant, and I can really relate to her, because, like, a lot of the stuff she was doing in the show was stuff I was doing for the film I'm working on, like, which is basically running around and getting stuff, and that's really great. I, I love it so much. Okay, the next one I have for you is an anime, and it's called My Love Story, and it's this beautiful love story about this guy named Takeo and it's just this guy has no luck with love and now he's he finds just this perfect girl and honestly what I really love about it is like you know how anime a lot of series will take from the beginning of the series to either the end of the season or the entire series for the girl and the guy to hook up well, this cuts the crap, and it's just amazing. Go watch it. It's on Crunchyroll. It, just go watch it. Go watch it. Oh, same with Shirobako. It's on Crunchyroll. Okay, and the next one is Star vs. the Force of Evil. Now, this is a show on Disney XD, and if you're not watching it, like, there's something wrong with you, because if you love, like, Steven Universe and Magical Girl anime, or just, like, wackiness, it's great. I love it. And what makes it really great is both the main characters are competent, and they don't necessarily need one or the other to get things done but they do work together as a team and it's great go watch it okay and the next category I have is music and oh my god I've been loving neck deep's new album life's not out to get you gold steps is my jam and I am so sad that I can't go to all-time lows tour and they got announced <laughs> Go listen to it, and it's available at Target, apparently, so yeah, go get it. And the next music favorite I have is Bring Me the Horizon. Uh, just Bring Me the Horizon in general. If you haven't listened to Bring Me the Horizon before, give them a chance. I don't really care much for their really old stuff. Their newer stuff is, like, better, and Ollie has said they're just trying to get better, so good for them. But, okay guys, that's my summer favorites, and as always, you should totally like this video and subscribe and follow me on social media, all the links are in the description, and I hope you guys have a great start of your school year, hope everything goes well, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!